Hey there, Kat here, and today we're gonna chat about purchase orders in Bravo. This key tool helps you manage your inventory like a pro. It's all about planning, tracking, and keeping control of your stock from the moment you place an order with a vendor to when it arrives and is ready to sell. So let's break down what a purchase order is, why it's super important for your business, and how you can use it in Bravo to keep things running smoothly. In Bravo, a purchase order is pretty much like a detailed shopping list. It's not just about placing an order, it's about having a clear, organized system that makes sure you're always stocked with the right items at the right time. Here's a quick way to think about it. When you're creating a new purchase order, think of it like writing your shopping list. When the status is marked as ordered, it's like you're at the store filling up your cart. Check-in is when you mark those items off your list as you add them to your cart. Received is like when you're checking out, these items are now yours. And completed, that's when everything's unpacked and neatly put away in your pantry. The whole point of Bravo's purchase order feature is to help you track and manage this process every step of the way. So why should you care about using purchase orders in Bravo? Here are some big reasons. Purchase orders let you keep tabs on what's been ordered, what's arrived, and what's still on the way. This way, you don't end up with way too much stock or worse, run out of what you need. Everyone on your team can see what's been ordered and what still needs attention. This means no more duplicate work or missed items. Everyone's on the same page. With Bravo, you can easily track orders from multiple vendors, so you're always in the loop with your suppliers. When you use purchase orders, your entire purchasing process from planning to receiving is smooth, organized, and efficient. All right, let's walk through a quick overview of how you actually use purchase orders in Bravo. I did link some videos below that go into more detail. First, we're gonna create a new purchase order. We'll start by expanding the inventory section, heading to stock management, and since we're already on the purchase order tab, just click add purchase order. Think of this as building your grocery list. We'll use the search bar to add the items by UPC, SKU, or description, and decide how much of each item we want to order. On the left-hand panel, we can see all of our item stats, like what we have on hand and our desired reorder levels. In order to save a new order, we just need to add the vendor here. Next, you'll put the order in with your vendor. Let them know what's on your list and how much of each item you want. From there, your vendor will give you ideas on costs and terms. We're gonna move the status into an ordered status to let the rest of the team know these items have been ordered. It's like putting them into your digital basket. Now we'll put the order details in, like shipping provider, payment terms, and shipping costs. We'll save our progress until it's time to start checking in items once we've gotten them. Now it's time to check in any shipped items. As items arrive at the store, we're gonna mark them into the system like we're checking them off our shopping list. If the entire order doesn't come in all at once, no worries. We can check in what we've received so far and keep the rest pending. For partially received orders, we can add those items into inventory right away, or we can wait until everything's here. We'll hit save to lock in our progress, and if we added any items to our active inventory, that print tag queue will pop right up. Now that we've received our entire order, let's change our status to receive. It's like leaving the store with your groceries. It tells Bravo that these items are ready to become active inventory. If we've only received part of our order before, we'll need to switch back to check-in to scan the rest of the items in. Saving at this stage adds the received items to your inventory, but keeps the order open for anything still on its way. Just a quick heads up, you can always receive and complete the order at the same time by just moving through the statuses. Select Receive and then Complete. Once you mark the order as complete, it's now inactive, moving it out of your active queue on the Purchase Order tab. We can still view, 
print, or update certain details, but we won't be able to change the vendor or add any new items. Using purchase orders in Bravo isn't just about placing orders. It's about taking control of your inventory, making sure your business runs like a well-oiled machine, and setting yourself up for success. Whether you're running a single store or managing multiple locations, Bravo's purchase order feature keeps everything organized and efficient, saving you time and cutting down on mistakes. If you have any questions or you're thinking about adding purchase orders to your product lineup, give us a call at 888-407-6287. We're happy to help.